Hi everyone. From new, this helicopter flew backwards all the time and needed the forward stick pushed forward the whole time to get any reasonable sort of flight. So despite making a small modification early on involving the bow cranks, we're going to look in this video at further modifications and alterations so that the helicopter flies in a more balanced way. The first job is to take the body off and strip the helicopter down to its bare essentials. Nearly all the adjustments are made by changing the settings and positions of the puller rods on the crank arms. We're now looking at the front rotor set. The yellow arrow shows that we move the bow crank arm up to notch number 2 to increase the amount of movement, however this does not increase the bias. The green arrow indicates the ferrule where there is no adjustment at all. We can get a little bit more forward bias by altering the position of this bow crank. To get a good forward bias on the front rotor set, we need to change the pusher rod's position on the servo wheel. It was only a case of moving it one hole, but it made a lot of difference. For the rear set, I moved the puller arm shown with a green arrow up. I moved it up two holes so that the swash plate was held forward. There's a small amount of adjustment possible on the rear rotor set using the rotatable hook, but this is very limited. Once these modifications were made, it was time to switch on the transmitter and plug in the battery and check that everything was working correctly. You'll notice that there is now some forward bias on the swash plates. It was then time for some testing. Flying without the body it looks really strange, but it gives you an idea of what you can expect. It was noticed that the right-left movement of the helicopter was affected by the modifications, so what I had to do was adjust the bow cranks of the right and left movement to increase the amount of movement, not because it needed it, but it was so that the trimmer of the right-left movement had more effect. During the testing stage, this happened. The inner shaft of the rear rotor set separated due to a loose grub screw on the gear. Having checked other screws on the helicopter, it seems Walkera does suffer from loosely fitted screws. I would suggest everybody check their grub screws so that you don't suffer from the same problem. I lost the small cup bearing that sits on top of the outer shaft and had to order a new one. I ordered mine from RTF Electric. So all these modifications and the extra work of the crash meant that I had to strip the helicopter down far more than expected. I would suggest that if you're going to do this you have somewhere to store all the small intricate parts from the helicopter lest you lose them. You're going to need a really fine crosshead screwdriver to release the fly bar removing the two very tiny screws. To get the body off you're going to need to remove the two rear wheels and also completely remove the struts shown here. You will probably find that the fibre body struts fracture and break and become absolutely useless. So a replacement is going to be required. I used a toothpick come cocktail stick which is almost exactly the correct size. You'll need a 2mm drill bit just to open up the hole through the fixing. Just trim any excess with a pair of snips as shown. Another casualty of any crash with this helicopter will be the two small rubber grommets that hold the strut in place. So something better and more permanent is going to need to be found. What I did was cut up an electrical chop block connector and ended up with four brass clamps. This was absolutely perfect for securing the bars for future. Where the body bars poke through the body, you will find that the body will soon tear. So to alleviate this, I use a product called duct tape here in the UK, which is basically a very strong fibre reinforced tape. Just cut some small squares, use the 2mm drill to punch a hole in the middle, and put this on the inside over the holes. This will stop the tearing happening. The same tape can be used for all manner of minor body repairs.
So has it worked. Well, judge for yourself. Whoa. What caused that? The wind. What, the turn? Yay! <laughs> Very man.